We're really getting into the thick of winter now in the northern hemisphere here and things are getting a bit more dark and gloomy. So you know what? I think it's the perfect time to make a vacation style shirt, a bit like these ones here. I have some really nice linen fabric and I'm going to focus on the one thing I haven't done before, which is that Cuban style collar. So editing corn intro, let's get into it. I'm going to start by just laying out my whole front piece of the shirt, pinning down one half. This little line here, that's my center. And so I'm going to go over by one inch so I have enough fabric for the placket overlap and then slide my pattern over so my center meets this new mark. And then I'm tracing out the neck on the other side. And I'm going to go only about halfway on the shoulder. Using that as my marker, I'm going to go out two and a half inches all the way around. Draw that in. So ultimately what's going to happen is this flap, it's going to go like that and be on the inside of the shirt. Uh, for this back yoke piece, I'm going to lay down a little scrap centered around the neck. With that scrap piece that I also added, I'm once again going to go out two and a half inches around the neck. The collar itself, I'm going to cut out in a minute. So for now, I'm going to move on to just finishing all the raw edges so I can start putting it together. I have seen this type of shirt be called by many different types of names. Uh, bowling shirt, uh, camp collar shirt. Um, I prefer my vacation type shirt. It's the mindset, you know? I'm lining up my shoulders and then uh, stitch these puppies together. So I have my shirt right side out. These little flappy bits here, I'm going to tuck them in where they're going to be when they're finished. If I open up the front panels and just lay them down a little bit, like that. This panel is going along the back like so, and then this edge is going to attach to this edge, and I want to mirror the outside of the shirt, so I'm going to sew them together like so. There we go. And so when I lay it all flat, I have one giant neck hole with my edges all facing the inside. Fold this flap over and inwards. Line everything up. Press the end piece nice and flat, just the edges here. And then I put two pins by the crease lines. I went in uh, one and a quarter inch on each side. And then I'm going to walk it out along the edge to find out the exact measurement of the collar piece. All right. Fold my fabric in half. Go down three inches. I do want the edges to curve up and in a little bit, so those I'm going to go two and a half to here. Just a gentle, gentle swoop. I'm going to 
sew down the edges. Flip it around the other way. All right, give that a pressing. So that can go out as far as possible, please. Thank you. A little top stitching. Final step on this top piece is to surge along the bottom raw edge. Uh, to make my life a little easier though, uh, I'm going to attach this collar piece onto the shirt in <laughs> two steps. This is the outside of the shirt in the back here. I've folded myself my center point and same goes for this one and then just walk it out and pin it on in intervals. I'm starting in the middle at the back here and I'm sewing as close to the edge as possible because this is really just a stay stitch more than anything else. That's the right side there. Flip it over this way. Make sure this seam here lines up with the seam on the inside here. Same thing with this other seam. Again, line them up. I can now sew all these layers together. Now I can flip it all the right way around. Make sure it's all lying flat, of course. And just work my way around. Final step, I'm going to run a top stitch all the way along here. Enough yammering. Let me get the rest of this shirt done and then I'll deal with this loose flap on the inside at the very end. Riding bikes along the beach, squeaking sand beneath our feet. Water is so clear and blue, all my dreams are coming true. Days are hard and nights are long, I like singing you this song. Skinny dipping with the moon, life's more fun when I'm with you. Finally, with this extra flap on the inside, I'm going to hand tack it right by the seams so that it sits in place. In the middle here, I'm doing a blind hem. So I basically loop it under one thread, pull through, and that way this won't show on the other side. The focus of this video was this neck here, so let's have a closer look. And uh, you know what? I like it. The front of the shirt is also looking a little bit bare, so I put on a pocket and well, then I got to thinking, you know, I'm at that age where I'm gonna have to start writing things down, so. <laughs> A nice little slot for that. I also added in that trademark little slot on the bottom that I've grown to like. And, uh, and overall, it's just it's nice and loose, it's comfortable, it feels good to wear, and uh, it's leaning into this vintage style I've been doing more of. So, one, two double thumbs up for me. So what do you say, Editing Corn? Let's uh, put on that nice little song we had a minute ago and uh, Tried some different outfits. These days, under the sun together. These days, let's make them last forever. These days, these days, let's hope they last forever.
Beside the seashells on the sand I like walking hand in hand Climb the lighthouse for the view I like going there with you